In this video, you will learn how to play the Siamese cat song, which is in the pre-time piano Disney primer book. in pre-time piano Disney primer level book and we are looking at the Siamese cat song today. If you look up at this keyboard in the top corner, it shows you where your hand position should be. You're going to have both hands in a C5 finger scale position. And I put my right hand at middle C and my left hand down at the C below. We are going to learn the song one line at a time. Before we start, I'm going to have you circle all of the repeating notes. So go ahead and get out a pencil. I'm gonna have you circle these notes right here because they all repeat. These three E's that repeat. These three G's and C's that repeat. And then it's the same thing on the next line. These three E's, these three E's, and these three G's and C's. On the next line, we have these three D's, these three D's, and these three G's and C's. And on the last line, all of these G's can have one big circle around them, and then these three G's and C's here. Let's get started by looking at the first line. Um, all of these lines have a similar rhythm except for the last one, so I want to first practice the rhythm. Let's tap it. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, so this starts with five, three, 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 five, three, 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 five, three, and then one and five together in the left hand three times. This little smile looking thing right here is called a slur. And what it means is that they want us to hold this first note down until the second note plays so that they sound connected. So we're going to go to the piano now. My right hand is on middle C with a thumb. My left hand is on C below with a pinky. Now I'm gonna start with the right hand with my pinky and then to my third finger. And you'll notice I keep the pinky down until my third finger goes down. So it's like if you were walking, you would wait till your next foot goes down to pick it up. Try it with me. So we're going to start with the pinky right here. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. If you would like to continue practicing that line, go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to move on to the second line. Now the second line is almost the same. It starts out the same two measures, so we're going to do the same thing. G, E, 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 G, E, E, E. But this time we're going to go four, two, and then we do these again. Go ahead and try this line with me. One, two, pinky, go. Five, three, 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 Five, three, 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 four, two, one, two, three. Okay, if you would like to pause there to either practice line two or to practice playing lines one and two together, you can. I'm going to move on to line three. In line three, we have the same rhythm, but now we're going to start on our fourth finger instead of our fifth finger. So we'll go from four to two twice and then longer four to two. And I also notice that there's a piano here, so I'm also going to do it very quietly. So on the piano with my hands in the same place, I'm gonna start with my fourth finger, very quiet. Go ahead and do it with me. One, two, ready, go.
great. If you want to, you can pause and work on that line a little more. I'm going to move on to the last line. So in the last line, our hands are going to be playing unison, which means the right hand and the left hand are going to be doing the same thing. I'm gonna start up on G. So for my right hand, that's going to be my pinky, but for my left hand, it's going to be my thumb. And it's going to be G, 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 and then we're going to play every note going down almost to C. So G, F, E, D. Then we're gonna step up to E and finally get to that C. And then just our left hand will do the same three things it's been doing the whole time. So looking at the piano, my hands are going to be in the same place that they have been. It's going to start with these two notes here. G, 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 and then they'll come down all the way to D they step up and then go to the C. Try it with me. One, two, ready, go. Now go down to D and then step up and go to C. Bump, bump, bump. That is everything that you need to know to learn how to master the Siamese cat song. Let's talk about the practice plan to master this song. You will play this song three times a day. Each time I want you to focus on a different point. The first time, focus on playing the correct notes. The second time, focus on playing the correct rhythms. And the last time, focus on playing the correct dynamics. Good luck.